Did you know that over time, your diet can actually enhance your strength and leanness by naturally boosting your testosterone levels? However, the same can be said about consuming the wrong foods, as they can actually have the opposite effect, increasing estrogen, lowering testosterone, and triggering various effects. These may include gaining body fat, losing muscle mass, feeling weaker, and experiencing fatigue. Many individuals attempt to raise their testosterone levels by eating foods such as garlic, oysters, and ginger. But it's easier to focus on the importance of avoiding estrogen raising foods. Because when estrogen levels rise, it can throw off the delicate balances of hormones in our bodies. This imbalance can lead to a decrease in testosterone levels, which is crucial for maintaining muscle mass, strength, and overall vitality. So, what are these estrogen-raising foods? Well, without any further ado, let's break down the 8 testosterone killers men must avoid. Number 8. Fatty Acids Back in the day, our ancestors consumed a diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which played a significant role in supporting hormonal balance. These healthy fats were found in foods like fish, nuts, and seeds. They helped regulate hormone production and function. This imbalance can have a big effect on our hormonal balance. Omega-6 fatty acids promote inflammation in the body, which can disrupt hormone production and function. In particular, high levels of omega-6 fatty acid have been linked to a decrease in testosterone levels in men and hormonal imbalances in both men and women. To optimize hormonal health, it's essential to minimize our intake of omega-6 fatty acids and focus on consuming more omega-3 rich foods. Incorporating sources of omega-3s like fatty fish and walnuts into our diets can help restore balance and support overall hormonal health. Now, real quick, before we move to number 7, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss a new video from us. And don't forget to hit that like button. Number 7. Flaxseed Flax seeds are rich in compounds called lignans, which have been found to have both estrogenic and anti-estrogenic effects in the body. This means that they can mimic estrogen in some cases while blocking its effects in others, depending on the hormonal balance of the individual. Lignans are special compounds that can act like estrogen. For women, this can sometimes be helpful, especially during menopause, when estrogen levels can fluctuate. 6. Processed Foods Examples of processed foods include frozen meals and fast food items, which are typically high in sodium, unhealthy fats, and various additives. These foods are often loaded with sodium, which can contribute to water retention and bloating. Additionally, they contain unhealthy fats, such as trans fats, which have been linked to numerous health issues, including disruption in hormone balance. Trans fat is artificial fat created through a process called hydrogensin, which turns liquid oils into solid fats. They're commonly found in processed foods like fried foods and commercially baked goods. There have been many studies, including one from the National Institute of Health, that shows that consuming foods high in trans fats can disrupt the delicate balance of testosterone and estrogen in our bodies. It's also revealed that constant consumption of trans fats from sources such as processed foods may lead to a reduction in testosterone levels. For instance, a study involving 209 men revealed that individuals with the highest trans fat intake experienced a 15% decrease in testosterone levels compared to those with the lowest intake. Number 5. Refined Grains Unlike their whole grain counterparts, refined grains lack essential nutrients and fiber as the refining process strips away the brand and germ. For example, Western diet plants high in processed meats, sweets, and refined grains are associated with elevated estrogen levels. One of the main concerns with refined grains is their high glycemic index, which means they can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels after consumption. This can lead to fluctuations in insulin levels and contribute to insulin resistance over time. Additionally, refined grains lack fiber and essential nutrients compared to whole grains. This can further enhance hormonal imbalances as fiber plays a crucial role in hormone metabolism. Number 4. Sugar This can be anything from soda to sugary snacks and desserts. You see, sugar is often high in calories but lacks essential nutrients, leading to a high caloric density but no nutritional value. But that's where it turns for the worse. 
This is because sugar can contribute to fat storage in the body, especially when consumed in excess. Excess sugar intake leads to an increase in insulin production, which promotes the storage of glucose as fat in the adipose tissue. Sugar has been shown to promote aromatization in fat cells. Imagine our bodies like a team of builders. They have different jobs to do, like building muscle or keeping us energized. Now, when we eat too much sugar, it's like giving them too much of one tool. That tool can change some of the team members into different ones, kind of like turning builders into painters. So when too many of our muscle building team members get turned into painters, it messes up the balance. Suddenly, we have too many painters and not enough builders, and things don't work as they should. This can cause problems for our bodies, like making us feel tired or not as strong as we should be. Number three, mint. Mint might seem harmless, but it can have some surprising effects on our hormones. An animal trial was done in a study from Shiraz University of Medical Sciences. The administration of spearmint essential oil to rats over a span of 20 days led to a decreased testosterone level. Furthermore, an earlier animal study observed that the consumption of peppermint tea caused hormonal changes in rats, resulting in a decline in testosterone levels compared to a control group. Now, having a bit of mint here and there is perfectly fine. It's all about moderation. Number two, licorice. One of the big things in licorice is something called glycyrisic acid. This acid might sound complicated, but it's important because it can actually stop our bodies from making enough testosterone. A study from the Department of Medical and Surgical Sciences found that licorice can reduce serum testosterone in healthy men. In fact, the mean testosterone values decreased by 26% after one week of treatment. So while licorice might be tasty, it's a good idea to enjoy in moderation. And if you're someone who's trying to keep your testosterone levels high, it might be best to avoid licorice products altogether. Number one, alcohol. One way alcohol can impact our hormones is by affecting our liver. The liver plays a crucial role in metabolizing hormones, including estrogen. When we drink alcohol, it can put extra strain on our liver, which may affect its ability to properly metabolize estrogen. This can lead to an imbalance in estrogen levels in the body. Over time, prolonged heavy alcohol consumption can detrimentally affect the liver, leading to decreased testosterone levels and elevated levels of estrogen. These hormonal imbalances can contribute to conditions such as ED and reduced libido. Alcohol consumption can potentially elevate estrogen levels in the body, a factor known to stimulate the proliferation of breast cancer cells. Furthermore, alcohol has the potential to cause DNA damage in breast cells, fostering mutations that may facilitate the onset of cancer. Another thing to watch out is for increased aromatase activity. Aromatase is an enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. When we consume alcohol, it can increase the activity of aromatase, leading to higher estrogen levels and potentially disrupting our hormonal balance. Additionally, alcohol can directly disrupt testosterone production in the body. A study from the Center of Molecule Medicine shared with this that consuming large amounts of alcohol, approximately 0.59 plus grams per pound of body weight per day, either acutely or chronically, decreases testosterone concentrations in men. And there you have it, eight testosterone killers men must avoid. To summarize, we should aim to avoid or limit the consumption of processed foods, high sugar food and beverages, alcohol, and processed meat, which can disrupt our hormonal balance and negatively impact our health. Instead, let's focus on balanced nutrition, incorporating plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats into our diets. Now it's your turn. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like this video for more. See you in the next one.